Kurtz. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in Nashville, uh, Tennessee. I'm going to discuss the insight to leg length guide and insight to femoral preparation. Insight to femoral preparation refers to implanting a femoral brooch without dislocating the hip and without cutting the femoral neck. This is basically just like implanting an IM uh, femoral nail. It was uh, developed by Dr. Stephen Murphy as part of his superior approach. It was designed to perform a hip replacement without ever dislocating the hip. In order to do this, the leg is adducted, flexed a little, and then it's a straight shot down the femoral canal. Um, the femoral head remains in the acetabular socket uh, during uh, the broaching and reaming of the femur, so the whole femoral bone is stabilized during the preparation of the femur. The intact femoral neck also preserves the femoral offset, which makes entering the femoral canal a lot easier. So the key to the insight to leg length guide is that by preparing the femoral canal uh, before the anatomic relationship between the femur and the pelvis has been altered, the surgeon can use the implanted femoral brooch as their primary reference point for measuring leg length and offset. So the insight to femoral uh, leg length guide starts with the surgeon using the insight to femoral preparation technique and broaching up to the appropriate size brooch that they intend to use for their femoral component. The uh, modular connector here just threads into the modular pocket of the femoral brooch or femoral prosthesis and then once that's implanted the uh, surgeon just implants the femoral brooch to the desired level and then the femoral screw guide screws into the uh, modular connector. This uh, femoral screw guide is um, going to insert a guide wire perpendicular to the axis of the femur exactly 55 millimeters above the shoulder of the prosthesis. And once that guide wire gets inserted, we insert a cannulated screw over that guide wire to mark our as our secondary uh, reference point. The uh, screwdriver here has four scribe lines and uh, the surgeon just stops when one of those scribe lines is at the top of that ring and that uh, helps determine their preoperative offset. The uh, femoral guide can then be removed, femoral neck can be cut, femoral head can be uh, taken out of the socket, and the uh, socket, uh, the acetabular component, can be implanted. So this is a 52 millimeter acetabular component that I've implanted into the, into the saw bones, then put in a 32 millimeter liner. I select a 32 millimeter trial head that then snaps onto this acetabular guide. We select the appropriate uh, stylus uh, that uh, you need to use and slide that into the cannulated screw. There are four styluses and based on uh, whichever scribe line you stopped on the femoral screwdriver, that tells you which stylus that you need to use. This um, acetabular guide has this L-shaped slider that goes back and forth. The femoral head goes in the acetabular component. This L-shaped slider then slides over the stylus and you slide this little outer sleeve over the um, can't, uh, over the stylus, and that locks the uh, stylus into the acetabular guide. Because this cannulated screw goes in perpendicular to the femoral axis uh, at the beginning of the case, when you lock this in so that it's now perpendicular again, you're basically uh, performing a virtual reduction of the hip joint, and you're confirming that the pre- and post-operative measurements are taken with the leg in the same virtual position. So the surgeon can set their desired leg length by loosening the set screw up top and sliding this measurement plate um, to whichever number they want to and you can read through this little open window right here how long uh, that is uh, lengthening or shortening the patient. Um, and um, the, per the, patient, the surgeon just looks at the tip of the stylus and whatever dot the tip of the stylus is closest to tells the uh, surgeon whichever combination of uh, modular head and neck they need to use and there are a whole row of different uh, dots there and those all correspond to different combinations of modular head and neck. And let's say for instance the surgeon really wanted to use a varus neck with a short head. The surgeon could loosen the set screw and move this measurement plate to where the tip of that stylus uh, corresponded to that particular dot that they wanted to use and then read off um, the window there how long they were lengthening uh, or shortening the patient. Um, the surgeon could then have the opportunity to either accept that change in leg length or to try to change the brooch, the ultimate brooch position, ultimate femoral component position to make up for that change in leg length. So once um, their measurements are done, just take out the uh, acetabular guide, take out the stylus, take out the cannulated screw, and um, exchange the femoral brooch for, for whichever modular uh, or non-modular neck femoral components you wanted to use.